Cancer cells are addicted to carbohydrates. They intake 200 times more glucose than normal cells. This is leading many experts in the cancer treatment community to consider how nutritional approaches like the ketogenic diet can aid patients in defeating their disease. Evidence shows using a ketogenic diet can create an unfavorable metabolic environment for cancer that goes beyond simply starving the disease of glucose. In this video, we review the observed anti-cancer mechanisms of keto and consider how it fits into a cancer treatment plan. Hello, I'm Olina Ivanova, the Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. Overall, in the last few years, we have been saturated with the news about celebrities, athletes, and media personalities describing their experiences using the ketogenic diet. Most people use it for weight loss, but the fact is, the ketogenic diet has been an important medical intervention since the early 1900s. Documents recovered from the Hippocratic collections show that medical practitioners from as far back as the 5th century BC used fasting to treat epilepsy, as it was the only effective therapeutic at that time. The use of fasting continued into the modern times until in the 1920s, researchers from Harvard and Mayo began to experiment with high-fat, low-carbohydrate diets that would mimic the effects of fasting. After two years of successful trials, the ketogenic diet was introduced as a standard treatment for epilepsy, particularly in children. Unfortunately, in the 1940s, this medical approach faded in use as an anti-epilepsy medications became the preferred prescription by most doctors. However, the efforts of the Charlie Foundation have renewed interest in using the ketogenic diet for diseases. Jim Abrahams, a Hollywood writer and producer, and his wife, Nancy, were desperate to find a solution for their 11-month-old son's epilepsy. The multitude of medications prescribed by doctors was causing severe side effects and not reducing his seizures. They luckily found a book in a library written by Johns Hopkins doctors that described using the ketogenic diet. Going keto worked. Their son Charlie became seizure-free within a month. Now Charlie is in his 20s and has not had a seizure since then. Motivated by their success of using nutrition to heal their son, the Abrahams founded the Charlie Foundation in 1994 to help improve research and awareness into ketogenic diets. Their efforts helped to encourage over 1,000 studies that consider the anti-cancer benefits of the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet, often referred to as keto or simply KD, is a large departure from the typical Western diet, which derives 50% of calories from carbohydrates. KD meal plants can have a carbohydrate range from 4 to 17%, making the majority of the caloric intake from fats. Trading carbs for fats shifts how the body produces energy. When we eat carbohydrates, our body converts it into glucose. The presence of glucose in the bloodstream stimulates the pancreas to release insulin, which allows glucose to enter cells, providing energy. Now, with typical Western diets that have high carbohydrate and sugar intake, the pancreas increasingly secretes more insulin, which promotes the interaction of growth hormone receptors and growth hormones to produce insulin-like growth factor one in the liver, promoting cell growth and proliferation, which can be detrimental to patients with cancer. In fact, overexpression of glucose transporters also occurs in many cancers and especially in aggressive tumors. We see this when tumors light up during a PET scan. Remember, cancer cells usually consume 200 times more glucose than normal cells. However, when glucose is scarce, like when using the ketogenic diet, the body senses the need to make an alternative form of energy for cells. The liver then produces ketones and fatty acids, which provide energy for normal cells. But ketones cannot be used by cancer cells because of their damaged mitochondria. 
KTE helps to starve cancer cells of their primary fuel source. Most studies have shown that the ketogenic diet slowed tumor growth, delayed the initiation of tumors, prolonged the survival rate, reversed cancer-induced cachexia, which is extreme weight loss and muscle wasting, and also increased the tumor response to standard treatments like chemo and radiation. Additionally, KD appears to greatly improve efficacy of targeted therapies like PI3K inhibitors. While KD exploits metabolic weakness in cancer, it has also shown to provide other anti-cancer benefits. Here are some of the most commonly observed anti-cancer mechanisms and actions. So anti-inflammatory effects. Tumors often produce inflammation in the body to trigger a number of activities that help the cancer to grow and spread. These activities include tumor regenesis, which is converting normal cells into cancerous cells, tumor growth and proliferation, metastasis, as well as enabling cancers to be resistant to standard treatments like chemo. Ketogenic diet shows the ability to reduce pro-inflammatory cytokines, thus contributing to prevention of tumor progression. Suppression of key enzymes is another category. Cancer cells have been shown to overexpress enzymes like cyclooxygenase and matrix metalloproteinases to influence tumor progression and migration. Evidence shows that keto diets can make an impact by helping to normalize the expression of these enzymes. While many studies show that a ketogenic diet could be a helpful component in a cancer-fighting treatment plan, it should be noted that cancer cells have the metabolic flexibility to use alternative fuel sources when access to glucose is restricted. Experts acknowledge that cancers may derive energy from amino acids like glutamine. Studies suggest there are safe medications and supplements that can be used to further starve cancer of glucose and restrict access to amino acids. You can find a link to a video in the description that goes into detail about metabolic cancer therapies, the aim to starve cancer of resources. Now, to summarize what we discussed about the ketogenic diet, substantially reducing carbohydrate intake activates producing ketones and fatty acids that normal cells can process for energy. Cancer cells cannot effectively process ketones for energy. Ketogenic diets limit the production of glucose, starving cancer cells of a primary fuel source. KD can reduce inflammation and overexpression of enzymes that are used by cancer cells to grow and spread. In addition to KD, other steps can be taken to assault other metabolic dependencies of cancer, particularly its use of amino acids. Nutrition is an often overlooked aspect of fighting disease. Our bodies require fuel to power the immune system to fight against cancer. Yes, keto diets show promise, but they're not necessarily the best approach for every person's situation. Alternatively, using a less extreme low-carb diet or intermittent fasting could be a better match for some. To get the best results, be sure to collaborate with a licensed medical professional to establish a personalized nutritional plan. If you are interested in learning more about metabolic cancer therapies, we welcome you to schedule a call by accessing the link in the description. As always, check out the description to find links to the referenced articles and other resources that could be helpful. We hope you found this information useful. If so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. We thank you for watching and we wish you the best of health. Stay strong and informed.